I smell a sitcom, <laughs> Living with Voldemort. <laughs> Cook mac and cheese. Are you freaking kidding me? You can make a giant vat of mac and cheese? This this is my dream, guys. <gasps> yes! Voldemort, I'm making mac and cheese. Would you like some? Okay, fine, whatever. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You're doing magic? Sure, that's cool. But can you make a giant vat of mac and cheese? Hey guys, and welcome to a super special magical episode of The Sims 4. Yes, that's right, I'm finally gonna be playing The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. I was traveling while this pack came out, so, you know, I'm a little behind. But aren't I always? So let's just dive right into it. This, of course, is me. Oh. And I honestly love so much that is in this new pack as far as create a sim and houses go. As you can see, I had some fun designing the new me. Hmm. The magic me. So here you have Magical Me's everyday outfit, and it is the freaking cutest thing ever! I'm sorry, I lost control there a little bit. Now the hair, of course, is not Realm of Magic. These were the four new hairstyles, and you know, none of them really looked like me, although this one is awesome. So I just used my regular custom content hair, but the makeup, oh my god. The lipstick, amazing. The face paint, Amazing! It even shimmers when you turn her. Seriously, what the heck? <laughs> so, I actually spent a really long time putting together every single outfit for me and Bobby in this. So pay attention and leave a like for my outfits. Do it now! I am very proud of these outfits and, and the house I put together, but we'll get there. So yeah, every day, here's my formal outfit, which is super freaking cute. Here's my athletic outfit, slash just being a common peasant outfit. That's what I will now call this, common peasant outfit. Mm. My sleep outfit, which, oh my god, I love this. I would actually wear this if I had it. And these shorts. Just, just all of it, yes. My party outfit, uh, which is not really a party outfit. But, you know, it had moon buttons. And then swimwear. Um, this, like, you know, dominatrix-looking outfit. <laughs> because why not? There was no new swimwear for the Realm of Magic, so we, we just make do with what we got. But obviously, my everyday outfit is my favorite. Ooh. And moving on to Bobby. Okay, uh, when I first saw this, I started hysterically laughing. And do you want to know why? He has a moth on him! Why? Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, why you like moths so much, hmm? I mean, I guess it's a cute little moth, but why, why you got it? Look at it. What is this? Why is there just a random moth on you? Like, a moth? Not, like, not a butterfly or some other cool insect. A moth. <laughs> Bobby's like, I love moths, leave me alone. Well, this is Bobby's everyday slash Mothman outfit. Here's his formal, which I gave him this purpley red shirt because we love a man who stands by his purple queen, yas. Also, these new pants. Uh, why his crotch so low? Here's the everyday crotch. It's, it's up here, like a normal crotch. Formal crotch down here. <laughs> formal crotch way lower than it should be. But I don't know, maybe Bobby likes having his crotch that low. I have no idea. He apparently likes moths as well. This is magical, Bobby. Magical Bobby doesn't make any sense. Athletic Bobby. He looks like Eminem from the movie 8 Mile. I do like the fact that you can get a hoodie with the hood up now. I think Bobby's mm. growing into the super low crotch pants. He's liking it. Now we're going to party. Oh my God, super low crotch pants again. But it's because it matches his amazing moon and star shirt. Yes. Which was my favorite uh, outfit for the guys. And then swim, uh, you know, like I said, what the heck? Sure. <laughs> Wait, there we go. Wait. There we go. I just concocted this because, you know, no new swim outfits. And sadly, there was no magical outfits for our pet oh. companions. And Dexter felt really left out. So just, you know, play along with this next thing. But Dexter is a shark unicorn! <laughs> shark unicorn dog thing! He's magical. Look how magical he is. <laughs> he is now a shark unicorn. Don't question it. And before introducing this next character, I, w I need some backstory while we stare at this beautiful shark unicorn dog. So my last upload was The Sims, but I left it unpaused all night. And in that episode, I had a crazy old person living with me and Bobby who was evil. And that video got over a million views already. And I thought, hmm, maybe the key to success is to add an evil old person to all of my gameplays, right? That totally makes sense. And thus I decided to add for this Realm of Magic episode, Elderly Evil Voldemort. His nose is almost non-existent or as non-existent as I can make it. A dominatrix leather suited 
Voldemort. And he's gonna be our roommate. I smell a sitcom. <laughs> Living with Voldemort. All right, and here is our magical, beautiful house. I actually really, really like, as you can tell, these new stained glass windows that are purple and blue. There's a stained glass matching door. Oh, as you can see, I cannot control myself when I talk about certain things in this. They're so whimsical and cool. And then I had to give this amazing, awesome brick, like periwinkle color. I forgot, I forgot about changing the roof color, but it's fine. It's fine. I even put this portal out here, which I don't actually know if it works or if it's just, uh, you know, for aesthetic. But if it does work, we have one. So going through the front door, we have this giant cauldron, which I don't know what it does yet. Because by the way, I have not played at all with this new pack or even watch people play. So I have no idea how this works. We're gonna figure it out together. And then if you go this way, that's creepily left open. Oh, okay. Oh, it's because Lauren's already in here. I don't- what are you doing? Where's your hand? Also, this is not your room. This is just a re She's- is she levitating? What? Anyway, backtracking a little bit. The house that I'm showing you is part of Glimmerbrook. The new world that's added to The Sims. Look how magical. Ooh, what is this? Getting sidetracked. But here, here is the cute little periwinkle house. You know, I just got so sidetracked that uh, I forgot all about that. But anyway, look at this. D Seriously, there was so many. I mean, it definitely had, the pack definitely has its problems. Like there was no back door in this build originally. I had to put one. Like there's some things that feel a little rushed, but I, being a whimsical loving person, I love uh, things like this. Things like this, the outfits. But look, oh, I put those like drying magical herbs. Okay, sidetracked again. Let's keep going. This is a magical crystal fireplace because why not? This isn't part of the magic pack, but I thought it was cool to point out that there's some sort of purple magical tree that I cut and hollowed out so that I can feed Dexter in it. It's the only way that shark unicorns eat, FYI. Like, oh, I love the fridge. I love the stove. Love this. So simple, but I love it. And then when you come upstairs, right here to the left is the bathroom with this new toilet and this new sink that has a peacock. Like why? I love it so much. It doesn't make any sense. And then this shower, which was named the Chamber of Sprinkles. I mean, I love it. I love it. I don't care. It's so ridiculous that I love it. And then you go into this room, which is Bobby and my room. Look at the freaking stained glass ceiling. Bobby really liked moths, so I, you know, put these in. <laughs> At least they're on brand with their color scheme. Although I think this is a lightning bug. That would make more sense. There's some sort of magical seeds that were already on the table. This is a wand holder. And then you come over here and the door is black and you come in and everything looks like an angsty teenager's bedroom. And that's cause this is Voldemort's room. Voldemort is an angsty teenager and he also has a wand case and a floating crystal. And then over here is, you know, just a computer and some bookcases, but who needs that when you're magical? Okay, I am done doing the create a sim and build part of this. I just want to freaking play and learn what kind of spells I can do. But first things first, I don't know how to get to that magical land. <laughs> can we just travel there? Apparently I can't use this. What if I just stand on it? Lauren, come on, channel your magical being. I probably should have looked up a little bit about this pack before I started playing. Ooh, yeah, what does this do? Lauren, use the cook mac and cheese. Are you freaking kidding me? They made a cauldron that uses crystals to cook food and you can make a giant vat of mac and cheese? This, this is my dream, guys. I am now living in my dream. Make the mac and cheese. Can we bathe in it? Oh my God, please let us bathe in it. <gasps> yes. Voldemort, I'm making mac and cheese. Would you like some? Okay, fine, whatever. You can't eat it till I bathe in it first though. Might be kind of gross, but that's how the flavor gets in. This is just magical and I, I don't even have magic powers. How did I do this? Wait, she's walking away. How long? Oh, it's done. Call to meal. Oh, I can't bathe in it. Darn it. Well, magic already working out so far. I have 12 servings of mac and cheese for me to eat all to myself. You guys only get that one plate. Oh my God. Yeah, let's light the crystal fire. What? It's so pretty. Okay, I keep getting sidetracked. We need to figure out how to actually become magical. Can I go to this portal? Oh, there it is. Whoa, it makes noises. Yay! Okay, go through. Oh, it's sucking our soul! What? 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 Where'd you- ah! Okay, she's dead. There's <laughs> too much going on. Okay, I- When I tell you I've literally not seen anything about this new pack, I literally have seen nothing about this new pack. Oh my god, look at all the mac and cheese we could make. 
I'm gonna cook mac and cheese in every single cauldron first. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You're doing magic? Sure, that's cool. But can you make a giant vat of mac and cheese? How do I obtain magical abilities? Let's figure that out while I'm making all my mac and cheese. Oh my god, there's more cauldrons. Cook mac and cheese, cook mac and cheese. All the mac and cheese in the world. Wait, what are you doing? That's not mac and cheese! Gross! Oh, how'd you get a giant spoon? Sage of untamed magic. Untamed magic. That sounds naughty. Yeah. Ooh! That's ask how to use magic. Dumb. Okay, who's this girl? Wait. Mischief magic. Okay, so there's all different types. Oh my god, another cauldron. Lauren, keep making mac and cheese. Okay, I just read up on the different types of spells that you can focus on. So there's practical, mischief, and untamed. So practical is gonna go to Bobby. This is the practical magic uh, sage. A practical spellcaster studies all things helpful and useful. Life is much easier with a bit of magic. I feel like that fits Bobby in real life, so let's, let's let him do this one. Let's be enchanted. Oh god, no, it's a love? No, 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 it's not, no romance. Cheerful, then. Ask how to use magic. Yes, show me how to do that. Learning the magical arts is a wonderful and perilous journey. Are you sure you are prepared to become a spellcaster? I was born ready. In order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I will need seven magical moats. What, what are magical moats? I have granted you moat sight, of course. In order to see and retrieve them, search the realm for moats and return to me quickly before the spell wears off. Ooh, okay. Oh, I can see now. Collect moat. All right, well, if this is a timed thing, then I guess I'll just collect them real quick. Very focused. Good, Bobby, good. Collect all the moats. Collect, collect all the moats. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, seven! We did it! Here are your moats! Whatever that is. Give me my magical abilities. Bobby's magical! Bobby is now a spellcaster. You can view his spell book by opening his perks panel or by clicking on the button in the window. <gasps> All right, well, he's practical. Now on to me. I thought I fit the mischief magic spellcaster best because a mischief spellcaster loves nothing more than tormenting others with magical pranks. Sounds just like me. Why take everything so seriously? And here is the sage of mischief magic. Oh my God, twins? Whoa, wow, Voldemort, wow. You just trying to come up in here and ruin my day. Oh, I have to get moats too. Okay, I was about to say, is my task to create seven batches of mac and cheese because I'm already ahead of you. Literally every single cauldron has mac and cheese in it. It's like my paradise. Look at even this one. But then they're all gonna go bad and smell up the entire building. All right, got all the moats. Here you go. Make me magic. Oh yeah. I am magic. Yes. And lastly, Voldemort. Now, Voldemort is gonna be an untamed magic spellcaster. An untamed spellcaster dedicates themselves to only the most powerful and uncontrollable spells. Magic is a force to be controlled. Yeah, that's, that's, uh... Stephanie Voldemort, moat collecting time for Voldemort. Except this time it's taking freaking forever because he's walking like this. I mean, to pass the time, let's just check out how cool this map is. Ooh, ooh, purple crystals. Ooh, waterfall to nowhere. There's all different areas. All right, well, once we, we are magical, we can go explore. This is bigger than I thought. So there's just the main area. There's this garden area. There's this other garden area. And then there's this like shop. Shopping area, I think, <gasps> with fireworks. He's like, hello, I have moats. <laughs> Voldemort has moats for you. Voldemort is magical. All right, and now we basically have to try and search for tomes, tomb, tomes, in order to learn spells. But we can also ask powerful spellcasters for some spell advice. Ooh, Bobby found a tomb and discovered a new spell. Make something or someone squeaky clean. Okay, so I think the next little bit off camera, I'm going to work on getting a bunch of spells and then I'll come back and try those out. Okay, so I've accomplished a lot since uh, I was last filming, but I saved a couple things to do with you guys. So as you can see, uh, you know, I'm at like my second level. It takes a lot to try and fill this out. I thought it would be quicker, but I guess it's a good thing that it's taking a little bit. But Lauren, I can make Sims sad. I can scramble people's brains. And I can convince two people to argue and fight with each other. Yay! I can also do this! Aye. Oh, and I'm gone. Bobby's broom is especially amazing. <laughs> because it's a mop and he also doesn't know how to fly very well, apparently. Oh, bubbles. And then we got Voldemort. 
who can also fly. And Voldemort's spells include setting things on fire, shocking people with electrical energy, and summoning the dead from their final resting place. And then for Bobby's spells so far, we have, uh, you know, being able to repair things, clean things, and create food out of thin freaking air. I mean, were the mac and cheese cauldrons not enough for you? I have not tried this yet, actually. This is like my dream. Oh my god, there's delicioso and grand delicioso. Oh, we, we going grand delicioso. What? Spaghetti? Oh! <laughs> Lauren came out of nowhere. She's like, oh my god, I heard you were summoning food. I am here. What? Can I just constantly keep summoning food? I'm pretty sure it used some of my energy, but... <gasps> a pizza! Oh, a smelly pizza. Ew, you summoned a smelly pizza? Maybe they're just taking food that's already in the world and just teleporting it to us. Gross, Bobby. I have the ability to see moats, which are actually pretty useful. I just collect them, and then I absorb them into my body, which gives me more experience. But Voldemort, oh, he has the best power of all. The power of fire! Oh, the tables are already destroyed. Uh and now here comes the freak out. You guys are freaking magic. You can't put the fire out. You have magical abilities. Put the fire out. So by the way, this is an amazing spell to have because like I mentioned, my last Sims video did amazing in part to the crazy evil old person, but also I guess in part to the fact that you guys like Sims fires. Well, here you go. This is officially going to be the Sims 4, but I set everything on fire. Ha 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 ha. Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god, you can set actual people on fire. Burst in the flames, who could have done that? Yeah, oh no! Oh, I set myself on fire! Oh, I'm on fire! Somebody help me! Oh, I put myself out. No worries, I got this. I'm setting everything on fire. Everything's on fire. Right, we gotta put a stop to Voldemort. Let us challenge him to a duel! <laughs> Oh, he's T-posing. Oh, he's T-posing for dominance. All right, we're going. We're dueling. Oh, I'm off to a great start. Are we dueling? Nobody's watching? No nobody's watching our duel? Well, it's epic. I better win. Lauren, you better win. L Lauren! <laughs> Come on! Defeat Voldemort! Oh, we don't have wands. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh, Lauren, come on! Lauren! Oh. All right, we need wands. I forgot I wanted to do that with you guys. Is it over? Okay, there's a bone wand, a magician's wand, a natural wand. I'm gonna give Babby the magician's wand. Voldemort will get the bone wand, of course. And I, actually, no, I want the magician's wand. I'll give Bobby the natural wand. We'll just, we'll swap. Because Bobby's practical. All right, and now for our familiars, which after you achieve the Ocelite <laughs> rank, I'm probably saying that wrong, you get sent randomized care packages in the mail, and I have distributed the familiars. You could also turn your pets into a familiar, but for some reason I can't bring Dexter here anymore. So we're just gonna have to make do with our familiar pets as of now. So this one was red. So I gave it to Voldemort and it's called a butterfly. Let's bind familiar. Oh my God, it's an evil butterfly bunny. This is amazing. Flops is his name? Sure, of course it is. Bobby's familiar is, oh, it's a fairy, Mappy. Now nah, let's do Navi, of course. Mine is an owl. Look at it, it looks like a starry sky. What the heck, Wizenheimer? Wizenheimer? Sure. Summon familiar. Yeah, oh. What happened? Oh, flops. Oh, you can have more than one? Oh, it's so evil and cute. That's so much more evil than I thought. I love it. What? That was a mix of woe and what. It is so freaking cool. All right, Bobby, stop hitting on ghost girls. Oh my gosh, it's legit Navi the fairy. All right, well, I gotta bind Dexter, the dolphin dog shark, as my familiar as well, and then I can just summon him whenever I need him. Do they actually do anything? No, they just hang out and they're cute or evil. Do they help with battles? Bobby, battle me. Yes. Okay, Lauren. Now's your time to shine. Aw, oh, yeah. My owl's giving me strength. What is up with his moth? His moth! <laughs> His moth is glitching out. Ah! What? Are you kidding me? Did I just I just lost? I just freaking lost again. Well, well, you know what? I'm just gonna scramble your brain. Prepare for brain scrambling. Oh! I backfired on myself. Oh no! Oh, I'm all dizzy. Oh, I'm the worst wizard ever. I just realized Bobby's spell can make Voldemort clean again because his magic is practical. Yay! And with that, Voldemort can go. Go back to burning everything down in the Sims. Yes, burn! Burn! All 
Alright guys, well that's gonna be it for The Sims 4 Realm of Magic, aka I just set everything on fire. Oh, it's still on fire. Oh, she's trying to put it out. Oh, I set myself on fire again. Uh, well, Demar, whatever, it won't stop me. I'll just keep setting things on fire. And the Bobby will just keep coming to clean me up. There was a lot more to this pack than I thought there was gonna be. My apologies if this episode was kind of long. Oh my god, he's on fire. Yes, yes, more fires. Yes, just set the ground on fire. Yes. I actually had a lot of fun. Let me know by leaving a like if you want me to do another video on this pack. I'm not sure how much more there is to do, but there I only did like half the spells. So I could probably figure out another video's worth if you guys are interested. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos almost every single day. And as always, I will Z you guys soon. You better subscribe. Demon Rabbit says so. Flop says do it or he will haunt you.